All right, this is our air motor. Uh, the latest revision is adding 24 volt power supply for the reed switch and um, an oil container going to the carburetor, which is teed off to both vacuum ports on the carburetor. The carburetor is blocked off. The exhaust is open. Uh, we're just using a sprinkler valve with solenoid, switching it with the reed switch using the existing magnets. You can hear it switching as it goes past the magnets. Ideally you want one magnet to set your dwell the duration that you need. And these two batteries run in series, positive out to a negative, and then that makes that positive and negative on the other side. Um, so you get 24 volts. Uh, they were supposed to run at uh, 24 AC, but they run at 24 DC also. Uh, this is off of a RC car that's vacuum sealed. I have a valve on there so that I can allow just a slight draw through the tube. And it's clear tubing, even though it's got blue um, uh, two-stroke oil in it. That's just to lubricate that piston and keep from wearing out our piston while we do our tests. But if you were going to put this in service, that's what you'd need to do. Um, we have a regulator here sitting at zero. And the rest is just plumbing. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the pressure up to 30. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a rotation. So this will run up to uh, about 60 PSI before it starts missing. Uh, that's too many RPMs for the reed switch to keep up with, so you'd have to have a better uh, uh, pickup than that. But uh, you can use one off of uh, uh, a Chevy or any other car that uses a pickup on the flywheel that is triggered by a magnet. Uh, reed switch is okay for testing, but for durability you're going to need uh, a different pickup on there. And you need the ability to move it back and forth as well. So. So this is what you got, pretty simple setup, uh, just a valve to pressurize the cylinder and push the piston down. Uh, the intake port is closed, except for the oil that's being sucked in the vacuum on the carburetor, and that's helping lubricate that piston, and the, exa the exhaust port is just open. If, if I was to block the exhaust port, it would quit running, so there you have it.